what's up guys, it's Combo here, and today I'm bringing you guys an awesome sniper gameplay I got here on the map Wetworks on Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Reflex. Uh, first off, I'm playing with uh, a bunch of subscribers, or a couple of subscribers, uh, Xbeers1. Uh, shout out to him, he's going to be watching this video, I know. He's one of my constant viewers who comes back and watches all my videos, so thanks to him. And uh, yeah, I'm playing with him today, he's going to be in this video. And uh, we're going to be on Wetworks here working a domination match, and uh, we end up pulling off a pretty pretty good score both of us and that guy clearly outplays me with his knife there but uh, that's how that's how this game works there was a lot of lag shooting and stuff which I'll get into a little bit later but uh, first off I'm using the M40A3 with the ACOG which was the go-to attachment for this weapon it was the only attachment so it was the go-to go-to attachment I guess in Wii because the quick scoping um, it was easier with the Wii remote which was this game was all Wii remote for those who don't know and I kinda liked it that way a lot better because it was it was more legit you know that if you got sniped, uh, the person was using a Wii remote, and you know it was it was all on the same it was all on the same level field, I guess you could say. So I, I didn't really get pissed when I got uh, sniped, but um, yeah. So anyway, guys, we're we're gonna be um, talking a little bit about today, wetworks, uh, lag shooting, and uh, stuff like that. So first off, um, this map was kind of hated by many and liked by many, like really loved by many. Um, but you know, I, I was kind of iffy about this map. I kind of like it, and I kind of really don't. I, I like this map a lot because it's it's a lot more different than the, you know, like the normal maps in in every Call of Duty game, where it's just on the on the ground. You know, it's a square map or a, or a circular map or something like that, and you just walk around, run around in it. You know, the same boring color stuff like that. But this map is a little bit different. Um, it's just a boat, and there's no underground. It's just on top, all all the same surface, and uh, you know, it was a, it was a different, unique map, and I kind of liked it. Um, you know, they should definitely make more maps like these. It was symmetrical, it was nice, and, you know, it was a small, kind of a small map. It was short, like, on, on one end and really long. It's like, a, you know, it's a boat, so it's really short width-wise, but length, it's really long, so, um, that's what she said. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, guys, it was, it was kind of, it was kind of an iffy map for many, but, you know, domination on this map is really, it's, it's really kind of iffy, like I said. Because the B flag is so, you know, it's it's right in the middle of the map. Basically, whoever whoever gets it first will keep it the whole game. That's that's what I find. It's really hard to get out of a spawn trap once you're in it, and that's what I do the whole game. I, I basically sit on top of this tower that I'm that I'm up here right now, and basically what me and my team do is just keep them in the spawn lock the whole entire game. Basically, um, you'll see a couple times they switch spawns where they they'll spawn right below me or you know past me a little bit. But that is because our team pushed too far up into their spawn and they, they forced the spawn back a little bit. But basically, what what we were doing here was just keeping them in a spawn lock. I was just sitting on top of this tower here, sniping them off one by one. And I miss a lot of shots. You'll see coming up, I miss a ton of shots. But, you know, it's it's, a, it's pretty hard to snipe long range with a, with an ACOG scope. Um, plus, you got to take into consideration all the lag shooting that was in this game. It made it a little bit difficult to you know take out enemies sometimes so I was I failed a lot and it's it was so frustrating at the time because I you know I was I was trying to, to lag shoot them but uh it was it was pretty hard but, but I ended up putting pulling off a really good score with the sniper and like I said spawn trapping on this map is probably the, the easiest map to spawn trap on um, basically because like I said it's it's like a smaller map and you know it's it's a, it just, it's an exotic map I guess you could say a unique one it's different from everything else so um, rarely would you have them spawn all the way on the other side once you push up too far. Um, but by me staying back here, I was easy. I was able to pick off the guys um, sitting up at the top, or you know, as you'll see here. I can't really, see, I can't see the video because whenever I watch the video, it, I, my microphone lags, so I can't see the video. But the guys in the window just running back and forth in the hallway. I, I pick, keep picking them off, and they keep spawning there, and. Um, I, I just get a, a pretty decent score so um, like I said if you guys are gonna play this for domination what I would suggest for you guys is to if you're playing in a party just go and cap the B flag right off the bat um, maybe maybe keep one guy to spawn cap your your A or C flag but I mean once you get the B flag it's basically locked up in game for for the other team um, basically what they have to do is deal with a spawn trap um, basic, basically you know you can't get around you can't go under so it's basically a really easy spawn trap um, if you if your team locks it up pretty well, so they'll just constantly spawn right at their flag the whole entire game, and uh, once you, once you have that locked down, you can easily just just dominate the game and stuff. It's a lot of air support you can get on your team, and you know it was, this is basically what we did here. So it was a lot of fun, 
and uh, we dominated this game basically the whole time. Um, you'll see, I don't know if we have it now, but we'll, we'll eventually ca cap their flag too, which was a bad idea. You want to always have, you want to always let them have one flag so that their spawn is basically locked at that at the same spot every time. But once you cap that flag, they can basically spawn anywhere. They can spawn behind you or something, but uh, you'll see we end up capping their flag, I believe, and uh, we, we triple capped them, but they still ended up spawning in the same spot. So it worked out pretty well, and this, this map was a pretty good, pretty good, uh, you know, thing, thing to spawn trap on and stuff. So, you know, I'm, this kind of gets me into my next point. I, I kind of like these kind of maps. They're different than the regular, the running around the circle square map, the buildings and stuff. You know, I like this map a lot more. There wasn't that many camping spots or anything, except for the all the way on the two ends where people would just camp in the windows and snipe across the map, stuff like that. But what I what I liked about this map is that it was a lot different. I think they have to incorporate something like this into the next game, uh, more maps like this. You know, it's just. It just gets really repetitive when you have every single map in the game just, just, you know, the same thing. Like, it's just the ground with a couple buildings and stuff like that. You know, I just I just like Wetworks, uh, stuff like, you know, uh, what were some other different maps? Uh, Shipment was different. You know, that was a, it was a good map choice, um, map making in this game. I really like the map choices, stuff like that. So, um, even Pipeline, even though that was a huge map, you... you you could do a variety of things. You could go under the map. You can stay up high in the buildings. You can go on the regular ground. There was it was a lot of a lot of things you could do, and you know it was a, it was a good choice of maps, a good map making in this game. I really enjoyed it. So I really think they should you know try to make more maps like these in the new game or Modern Warfare 3 because uh, it makes the game a lot more fun and stuff like that. So anyway, guys, that is about it. I hope you guys did enjoy the M40A3 sniping. If you could do me a huge favor and like this video, that would help a ton. And uh, other than that, guys, let me know if you want to see more sniping. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh, boy, you're gone. Mission accomplished. Good work.